Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jack Cantus, your host, to another character spotlight featuring Wolfgang, the strong man, grows stronger with a full belly and is afraid of monsters in the dark. Let's get into it. Tell you guys how what my opinion of Wolfgang is. And here we are, the big headed man himself. So, he has a lot of uh, upsides and a lot of downsides. And I'll show you real quick what most of his up and downsides are. So first of all, let's grab some gear, and I'll tell you how to counter his resource-intensive playstyle. Let's grab some crap and a half in here. Okay, so first thing you need to know about Wolfgang is, man, does he suck up hunger. I believe it's up to times three when he's at a full belly. Times three negative, so he sucks a lot of hunger. But, you know, if you have the resources, go ahead and meaty stew up. And you have three stages, Wimpy, Normal, and Mighty. And they all come with their own little debuffs. So, being Mighty, you do times two damage. You have 300 health and 300 hunger. And as you can see, I'm kind of depleting rapidly, depending on my hunger. And what you could do to fight this, to stay at a strong belly, is have a nice stack of honey on you. Keep just munching away at it. Your sanity also drops pretty hard as Wolfgang when it comes to fighting any monster like let's let's go ahead and you know equip a spear do some early game hunting and look just being near these spiders look how fast the sanity goes down it's pretty bad compared to other characters it's uh one times more um sanity loss compared to other characters but you can combat that with just eating food and you can stay pretty strong for pretty um, a really long time. I really like playing him. Uh, one of my friends like adores playing him and he's probably one of the best in his mind. What you can do to combat having so much uh, necessity for food is get a bee farm going and whenever you need some food just top yourself up with some honey by stealing it from the bees that you're domesticated. And then you'll have almost a near infinite supply of food. Like you'll need a meatball once in a while to kind of top yourself up at some of the bigger hungers if you're exploring a lot. But jerky helps out. You can actually live off monster meat. I'll show you right now. So you eat like maybe mm, five or six monster meat. You bounce it out with one big jerky, and you'll be back up to normal stats. And you can also do that with a little jerky. So where his real strength comes in is his damage multiplier and his speed boost. As you notice, I'm walking a little bit faster than most characters. When he's at a full belly, he actually runs uh, a little bit, almost one times faster than a normal character. The way you can combat his really, really strong stomach that pretty much depletes food like crazy is, you know, always put some armor on. You can either get a belt of hunger if you have the caves installed, or you can get a hibernation vest if you guys survive long enough to go to um, autumn of the next year. Now, probably the best thing is the damage, as most people like. Hand bats are probably one of the best weapons on him because they have unlimited durability. You can one shot spiders. I'm not even kidding. Wolfgang is ridiculous with his damage multiplier. Look at that. And, you know, you're in combat, just eat a couple things. Excuse my bad cutting soap, but look how much food you can farm up in just a matter of minutes with just a hand bat. He's, his strengths are ridiculous, especially versus boss fights. He almost annihilates everything. Say with a dark sword, if you're at late game, and you want to take something down that has a lot of health, go ahead and get a dark sword. And watch how fast you absolutely annihilate everything. Look at that. Like, no effort whatsoever. If you have the resources, he's a great asset to the team. If you have a wicker bottom to help feed his giant belly all the time, he's a great asset to any team as your mainline damage. I really enjoy playing him, he's fun, but he does require a lot of maintenance as, you know, your hunger will constantly deplete, but with the hibernation vest or the belt of hunger, you shouldn't really have that much of a problem keeping it up, but that is pretty late game stuff, I, I do understand. I, honey, jam, meatballs are your best friend early game, especially if you have a wicker bottom, you can really, really, you know, dish out the punishment. Like, well, even with just a spear, let's see how much damage he does. If I can get to the spider. Look at that. Two shot spiders. Especially with a boss fight, your little speed boost, and especially if you're on a path, can help you make quick work of most bosses. That way you're not 
constantly there burning through weapons and his damage multiplier also um, falls through on range weapons they do a lot of damage even with a tentacle spike he does a shit ton of damage it's ridiculous and like I said, Hambat is your best friend, especially when farming spiders. Like, you'll make short work of a tier 2, and a tier 1 is like 3 hits. He's really fun to play if you guys like <laughs> being really strong and overpowered in the game. Didn't even take a lot of damage, look, and you just heal up your extra bonus health with some honey. The problem you do have to worry about is your sanity. So, having anything that helps with sanity, especially, you know, having your honey farm, you can go ahead and make your taffy with four honey, and you can help him out really, really, really good with um, your sanity loss. Also, wearing the hibernation vest also gives you a sanity boost. So if you didn't notice, I'm not losing any sanity. So eating cooked food, the same meaty stew, will give you five sanity. You'll kind of make up for it, or three sanity, sorry. You kind of make up for the loss of sanity, especially if you have a lot of jerky and a lot of drying racks. You have a lot of meat lying around. If you're doing a lot of hunting and a lot of farming of pigmen and stuff like that can really help you out in the long run he's a really strong character really fun uh, especially when you're fighting bosses so if you guys really like him you guys should give him a try I like him my friend shock really likes him a lot one of his favorite characters of all time literally lives off honey and monster meat it's it's ridiculous how much you can just trade off with this character he does have a lot of negative traits but if you know how to deal with it you're gonna have a great time playing with him and pretty much plowing everything that don't starve together has to throw at you and a couple taffy and you're back up to full sanity and you have to worry about anything top it off with some honey he's a really fun character guys give him a try I hope you guys like my opinion on him and i'll see you guys in the next spotlight thanks for watching